Good morning. I hope you had a good evening and are fresh for some new work on this new day. I'm going to make two videos, or I've made two videos because I've already pushed them to you. But as I'm talking, I am going to make two videos. First one going through activity three that you had to do in class yesterday, just to see for yourself whether you've done everything correctly or if you struggled to see how it is done. And the second video will be on the new work that we are going to cover for today. I am really excited about this way of teaching. I don't know about you, but um, this is this can work. And I really hope that you're enjoying this SQL and that you're learning something. It's very difficult for me to check whether you really grasp this work. So I'm really challenging you um, to ask questions and to comment. Even if the comment says, sir, I get it. Um, that will I will appreciate that so that I can assess whether you really understand or not. Okay, so let's quickly read through this. Um, the question asks us to create an application that links to the grants database. Place three buttons. I'm not, I'm not sure why they say four because there's only three um, criteria that they're giving us. So with captions as indicated below, um, so create the following queries to be executed when the user clicks on the respective buttons. The first one names by pay point, the second names by gender, and the third one females born in 84. So I'm going to bring over Delphi and I, could, I haven't created the form yet. I'm going to snap my finger just now, just like that, and the form will magically appear. But before I snap my finger, I quickly want to show you what to do actually to start a new application. Because it's slightly different in Delphi 10 than what it was in Delphi 7. So we click on File. Let me just zoom in. Jack, this is specifically for you. Um, we click on File, New, and then there are several options. And we select the third one, VCL Forms Application Delphi. And then um, a new Delphi will or no, new application will start. We also are in need of a data module. And we click on file again, new, and this time we click on other. And then it is on my side, so I'm going to bring that open over quickly. So important here is that you select Delphi files. When you open, it actually opens where you last opened it. So I have opened it already in Delphi files, so that's why it is open, but it might be on ActiveX, and here you cannot find the data module. So the data module is under Delphi files, right over here. And we double click on that one, and it will actually create a data module. So I will magically let the form appear by snapping my finger, and then we will um, answer the questions. Okay, amazing. So here's my form and my data module. Um, it is connected to, and we are going to answer the question right here. So I have also, again, we will magically let some code appear over here um, that I've already um, written before. Um, my data module is called DMG, and we are clearing the, the query, and now we're adding our SQL statement. Our first SQL statement said that we must select all fields, so select all from and the table name is person and then it said um, we have to order it according to pay point number in ascending order so the clause over here is order order by new word by 
um, pay point number and then we don't have to do ascending like this although it would work but we're going to omit this because by default it is already in ascending order and now we will run our program and there's an error oh i forgot to say um dot sql there we go and now we try again and there it runs bring it over and if i click on this button now it will display all fields sorted according to pay point number and ascending order okay so let's close this and we're going to look at question two now so question two requires and i'm going to magically let the code appear or I copy and paste it and we're just gonna delete this code of the first question and the qu second question asks us to display so we're going to say select and then it asks us to display the surname surname the name which is person name the gender and the id of all persons so that is that from again the person table and now we have order by and this time it says that we need to first display all the males so we will order it according to gender gender let me zoom in here again so we will order it by gender but this time it has to be in descending order d s d e c s um because f becomes for before m so we'll have to first um we have to do sort it according to the males first so that's descending order and then we add our surname and person name person name and now i'm over the line already person name and that's it so if i run that and i'll bring it over again here we have our first one where it was sorted according to paper number and here we have now a missing operator oh glory missing over in the query expression gender ah okay like that shall we try again There we go. If one can spell, things will actually go very well. So D E S C for descending and not D E C S. All right. So let's do the third one. All right. So now the third one. Let's click on females born in 84. And I will zoom in here okay i've again copied some code right over there um, and you can see that i've actually added another query grants.sql.add because this one is considerably longer than the previous ones so again we start with our select statement select and in this case they're asking for the id number um, they're asking for the surname they're asking for the name person name and they're asking for the gender as well as the pay point pay point
point number um, and we will just say here from person table and we will stop right there and then I will add my where clause over here where and now it stipulates that it's only the females so I will say here where gender equals if and there's a it's a compound where statement because they're also asking of females born in 1984 so and ID like um, and then percentage sign of 84 not 30, 84 percentage sign like this okay so this is our query our condition so gender female and born in 84 but that's not where it's saying and we have to display the surnames and names in alphabetical order so we'll just add here order by surname well first pay point pay point number comma surname comma person name right and that's it so select id surname person name gender pay point number from person where gender equals f for female and like id like 84 not 84 percent but 84 anything so it starts with 84 and ends with any number of characters they after and then order by point, point number surname and person name and if i run this i'm going to bring it over again over here and i click on the button we will see now um, we only have the females to begin with. We have our pay point number one, so it's sorted according to pay point. As well as if you can see, let's take one where um, there's a couple one, pay point four. So we have voucher. So you can see, and here's the G. And then five only has one, but here with six, it again starts alphabetically within number six and that was activity three let's watch the next video and well sorry before i go over there's actually another um part to this now it jumped over let me you're gonna get dizzy by me scrolling so fast um activity two was a written one um, I will write out the answers for you and send them on WhatsApp to you. But I will now create the second video that you're going to watch now for your work for today.